I love it. Good morning. Someone is still sleeping under the bed. Hello. Hey, Pixie. Oh, she's so sleepy. And Pixie just got herself out from under the bed. Um, she always gets up as soon as we do. Um, whereas Bluebell likes to snooze for a little bit longer. So me and Pixie are going to go and make breakfast now. And she's here. Come here. Hey, Bluebee. Hey. You decided to join us in the kitchen in the morning? That's unusual. That's very unusual. Yay. Pixie's just uh, scratching on the rug. They are allowed to scratch it because um, nothing really happens with it. You can see it's got a fold because we had to put it away. Um, we needed some space on here. Um, but there is no marks on it at all and actually the material is like almost like a scratching post. So they do like to scratch on it and they are allowed. It's very rare for him to join us in the morning routine. So he's very excited about everything going on. Pixie? You ready to make pancakes? Yeah, come here. Yes, good girl. You're, you're going to help me make pancakes, yeah? Okay, so very unusually, I have two kitties in the kitchen. And very unusually, Pixie is very naughty. And Bluebell is just sitting here quietly, but I think it's because he's still very sleepy. Ooh, bye bye. So I'm going to make pancakes this morning, I'm going to use some uh, pea protein with them as well, so that's chocolate protein. I'll get some blueberries too and put them inside of the butter and we'll just see uh, what comes out of it. I never make the same pancake recipe, it's always some improvisation going on but they always turn out really good. So these will be vegan pancakes, so I'm starting with making a flax egg, so two tablespoons of flax seeds and we'll add four tablespoons of warm water, um, mix it, put it aside and that will make a flax egg. Okay, so we have 120 grams of flour and 30 grams of protein here. And Matt is just unloading the dishwasher and the same thing happens over and over. Bluebell jumps into the cupboard. We need to mix in the flax egg in a second, add some milk, blueberries and baking powder and maybe some yogurt as well. What do you think Bluebee? He well, doesn't really mind. He wants protein. Yeah, person's here already so he should be happy. Luby's here for his morning dose of water. Just hydration is very, very important, especially now we're in the heat wave. He loves drinking from the faucet, so <laughs> that is um, quite wasteful, but we always try to catch it in something at the bottom so we can use that for the dishes as well. Um, but he's just too funny drinking from, from the tap to not to let him do it. Our batter is ready, I made it quite thick, so I've added some Alpro soya yogurt and um, almond milk to it. Um, and I struggled to choose small blueberries because these are massive, like look at those. They are a bit too big for pancakes, so I was trying to choose little ones. Uh, let's see how they turn out. Because it's very interested in the spices cupboard. Hello. Okay, it is getting a pretty foggy inside. I didn't open the balcony, so I'm going to 
open it now and let the kitties outside. Bixie knows what's going on straight away because that's her favourite part of the morning. Hello. Can I go outside? It's good we tied it here yesterday because we literally threw all of the bowls and all of the toys that we had and the kitties had so much fun. Such a beautiful morning as well. Oh, I don't know if you can see it here. Um, but we're in a heat wave now, so it's very early. It's not even 8 a.m. and it's really nice, sunny and warm outside. So I have a feeling that they will be here for the next few hours until it gets too hot for them. Dear yeah, Blueby. going on Pixie? So I went back to the kitchen um, but she always invites us onto the balcony she, so she comes and meows and then checks if you're following her outside. Yes I'm coming with you. Come Pixie. I just ran back into the kitchen because I thought that my pancakes were burning but it's not too bad. They saved. Okay, so Mon made some fantastic pancakes, I finished every single one of them um, and uh, just so you don't think that I was uh, being super lazy when she was making the pancakes, I did spend some time in bed but I was actually working on edit of a video that we shot the other day about uh, making uh, raw food, we actually have a new recipe. Um, so I finished that and we had a bit of a working breakfast when um, I was uh, showing Mon my edit and uh, this, th let's just say this bit that she doesn't like. So would you like to show us what you don't like? So I don't like this music and you can have a listen. So this is just for like a little bit of a time lapse in between. Nice, right? <laughs> I think it's great. But to me it just sounds like electronic music mixed with an intro to some soap opera. And I just can't stand it. Like where did you even get this from? Internet. The edit is good, but um, Matt always needs a little bit of help with like the... Show us the colours. Maybe maybe I'm just colourblind or something. I don't know. No, you're not. Like, this was nice for the previous video when we were talking about the cost of the cat and we used um, pink. Um, but I just don't think this suits the vibe. There's a second option later, later down video. in the video. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I think I think orange is better. And I think the um, the font here is better as well. So it's the video more. Nice. Uh, I mean, fair enough. Uh, I could have done better with the music. And uh, I mean, the font was okay for me, but uh, I think it's just a perfect example of uh, how we just complement each other. I'm a little bit better with editing and when it comes to, uh, you know, just getting stuff done. Mon has an idea in, a, in her head and then she just gets me to do it. And uh, it's my job to find ways to get it done. So I just kind of get it done. <laughs> She's just laughing at me, but it's true. She always comes up with stuff that's like, oh, you know what would be cool? This and this and that. And I'm like, I have no idea how to do this. But, but then, find yeah. <laughs> Uh, but then, you know, I spent a couple of days on it and I found a way, so yeah. So you may have seen our story on Instagram about how much ragdolls shed. Um, so we do have to um, brush them pretty much every day now. If we don't brush them for a few days, when you pet them, a lot of fur comes out. So we're just going to do a little brushing session on the balcony here. Um, it's really nice and sunny now. Okay, both enjoying the weather and they just in the right mood for brushing. Alright, we finished our brushing session. Um, I also, as you probably saw on time lapse, um, I decided to hoover them up a little bit as well. So we used our Dyson V11 uh, with this little brush and the cats actually enjoy being hoovered. So that just gets rid of all of the loose hair after the brushing. You can see how much 
we got from there. And then this is the catted um, brush kit and that's the basket with all the fur that we got from brushing quite a lot so as you can see they are still shedding loads um i can't wait for this to be over of course there will be hair all the time but after all of their winter coat is gone it will just get a little bit better and now they are super super soft Bluebeast. hey naughty boy <laughs> Hugging the catnip. <laughs> Bluebell just loves squeezing his head in small places. So even when he comes in um, in the morning for a little cuddle in bed, he just like squeezes, pushes his head against us. It's quite funny. Let's see if he's gonna do it now. Oh no, but he's burring. Don't know if you can hear him. Hey, careful with those pots. Oh, I can see some dirty tails coming out of this. Okie dokie, so Mon finished brushing the cats. Pixie is still chilling on the balcony. And I'm actually going to do some uh, housework now. Uh, I'm going to start with cleaning the fountain because I haven't done it for a week now. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a really quick process to clean the fountain. If you use one, uh, you actually have to do it like once a week. Otherwise the pump gets blocked and the water isn't so fresh. And as we know, cats are super picky when it comes to the water. Oh, Bluey's helping today. <laughs> and cats are super picky when it comes to the water. And sometimes uh, they struggle to intake enough water to stay hydrated. So it's super important to keep it nice and fresh for them. Before I start, Bluebell is naturally assessing the situation in the sink. Bluey, may, may I proceed? Okay, let's get to it, guys. So first of all, naturally, I'm just going to take everything apart to get to the motor that's on the very bottom. There we go. Now, I usually start by taking the motor apart because there's actually some slime that gets built up inside. So I'm just going to use a knife to prompt the uh, filters. There we go, much like this. That comes out super easily. This one pulls out as well, just like that. And then, uh, actually, it was one of you guys that told us that those little blades still come out. I never knew this, so you literally just wedge it in there and then pick it up, just like this. And as you can see, there's lots of slime on there. So once I've got my motor taken apart completely, I'm just going to start cleaning with uh, just a regular dish soap. There we go, blades are clean. I'm going to clean the outside of the motor because it is covered in uh, some sort of slime. There we go. For the insides, I'm actually going to use one of the cotton buds. Uh, we use a, a bamboo cotton, cotton bud because the less single-use plastic, the better. Uh, we're trying to help the planet a little bit. Naturally, we're going to leave a link to the uh, product in the description below. There we go, clean the inside, and then we'll proceed to clean the rest of the motor. There we go. Oh, we have a healthy helper. Hey, Blueby, he loves to help. Okay, so that's motor done. I'm going to put all the parts on the side. And now we literally just need to clean the fountain itself. If you were to touch the fountain inside uh, before you clean it, you will feel a slimy, slimy substance on the sides because it does build up inside a little bit. For the metal part, you will feel uh, a bit of a scale building up. Uh, so what you could do, you could soak it in a bowl with some um, lemon and soda and that should help remove it. Just a bit of a homey DIY cleaning solution. 
As for the filter, I'm just going to rinse it with some fresh water. I'm not going to use any soap because I'm just a little bit scared that some detergent might stay inside. Well, not detergent, the soap. Okay, so that's my filter done. I actually took quite a lot of hair out of the filter. So I'll put it to the side now. And uh, now it's time to put it on the paper. small change of plans. Uh, I know I said we're going to put it back together. However, I noticed there is a fair bit buildup of uh, scale on the side of the stainless steel uh, top of the fountain. So I am actually going to soak it with the uh, lemon and some uh, soda. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to put some soda on the metal part. It is still wet from the cleaning, so it sticks nicely to all the surfaces. And now, I'm going to sprinkle some lemon. Oh, it's bubbling quite nicely. Okay, I'll just spread it all over, especially the affected areas. It's usually the areas where the um, water connects with uh, the dry parts. And that's where the scale is building up. Okay, so it's been about half an hour and um, I just checked on the progress and uh, the scale didn't obviously go away, but what the solution does is it actually makes it softer and easier to remove. So I'm just going to put some elbow grease to it and uh, try to remove as much as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I can see even with a few quick rubs on it, it actually comes off quite nicely. So I think I might be able to take off all of it. Now that everything's clean, I'm going to fill it up with some nice and cold water. The water fountain is ready for the cats. So you may not know this, but um, during lockdown we started working on some skills. <laughs> Um, so we started with learning headstones and different variations of headstones and then went on to learning forearm stands and handstands uh, with our yoga teacher. So we do it through Zoom sessions. And Matt is actually really good with forearm stands. I am very much afraid of falling into open space. So yeah, yeah. I am very excited because we're going to pick up a yoga wheel for me. If you don't know how it looks like, we'll put a picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but I have been searching for a perfect one for the whole of the internet. And it's so hard to find one that's good quality at a reasonable price. And I'm so excited that our yoga teacher found a friend who is actually selling the original Dharma wheel, which is wooden. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and it's perfect so I'm very excited we're going to pick it up today and we also pop into a supermarket uh, because we need some cat food well we need some meat to make more cat food um, we just need another batch uh, we have just been editing a video of us making a fully pork batch but I'm thinking the next one will do um, pork and chicken thighs or maybe we'll add some beef to it. So mix it up a little bit. We'll see what we get in Morrison's. See you soon. You got it? Yeah. Got it. So exciting. So this is what it looks like. It's handmade wooden wheel. It is absolutely beautiful. They don't sell those anymore. Now for the cat food. <laughs> okay, just on the way, it's pet at home. So we're going to stop here for a second. We need some more cat litter anyway. So we normally get those like uh, little fish tins for our cats from the local feed store, um, which you can't go in there now. They just like pass you the food through the, onto the car park, really. They bring it to um, your boat. Yeah. So we didn't want to ask them for little tiny tins of fish, so we'll try to find some here. Okay, I found what I was hoping I will. So these ones, we got these from um, Zoo Plus before, and this is like tuna loin. Oh, another one. How much are they? Tunas. They are one ninety nine. so I think they are cheaper on Zoo Plus, but I think we'll get to do with those. 
we're gonna get one bag today and uh, the prices haven't increased during the lockdown uh, unlike some other products 13.99 how cute are these i love this one it's just just perfect we just found these this toy look how cool this is but it is six pounds and we thought you can just make it yourself. It's literally just pieces of cardboard on a rope and a stick. We have loads of sticks from previous toys <laughs> and we do have some cardboard at home. So I think this will be a small DIY project for today. Yes. So these are the treats that we picked up. Um, the tuna ones. Oh, right, okay. So this is whole tuna loin and this is whole tuna loin with fish sauce. So. I haven't noticed that difference before. Cool. And then we saw these right by <laughs> Impulse Buyers. The checkout. Yeah, Impulse Buy. These were inexpensive, so we just got these. Um, it's a duck with green tea extract, which the ingredients are just basically duck. I just don't know what the green tea extract is supposed to do. I will read up on this before we give it to the kittens. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, they are normally just on raw diet. But from time to time we like to give them like fishy treats as well. Also I love how it says on here um, an ultimate healthy treat for everyday special occasions. Just how today. <laughs> also I love how it says on here um, an ultimate healthy treat for everyday special occasions. Just how today. <laughs> Right, Morrison's was half successful because we got some chicken thighs and chicken liver but the pork loin was actually a lot more expensive than usual so we're going to have to get it from Aldi but I got some other stuff and I got lots of Alpro soya yogurts which are normally so expensive at this time uh, they never on sale during pandemic uh, and they were one pound each so if you like them go and get them quick we're going back home. I can't wait to play with this wheel, but we also have other stuff to do as well. Um, a little bit more of housework, and we also have to do some provision. Yes, right? and we, we have another video to record actually. Oh yes, we're recording another video today as well, so um, that will have to be done at some point. Uh, but it's just um, gone past 12.30, so um, lunch time. We'll just get home now and cook something quick. Oh no, actually we don't have to cook because we still have food from yesterday. Um, oh, nice! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hello guys. We have a welcoming committee. What are you doing, guys? Sleeping? Pixie's definitely waking up. That's why she's squashing. Yay! And Bluebell is just yawning. <laughs> and they left the Hoover at the top here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you are so sleepy. And you too. Oh, hello. Sleepy. This is accurate representation of what they look like every time we come home. So sleepy. Do you think it's time for some treats? Oh yes! Which one shall we pick? We've tried these um, ones, maybe these ones, the new ones? Yeah, maybe try these. Let me just read up on this tea extract. Okay. Okay, so apparently the antioxidants in the green tea are also beneficial for cats as well as for humans. So they're going to get this little treat here. Um, green tea um, also contains a lot of vitamins, including vitamin A, which is very important for cats. So looks like this is a very, very healthy snack. Um, what does it say here? So 98.2% of duck, duck breast. Uh, vegetable glycerin, which that is not a very best because cats are not great at digesting um, vegetable fats. Um, and then we've got green tea extract of 0.6%. 
so I'll get their bowls and then they can enjoy their little treat. Let's see if they actually finished their breakfast. So one bowl is done, the other one is not so much. Uh, so I'll just get um, this one washed and then get a little small one for the other cat as well. Change of plans, um, Matt thinks it's better not to put them in the bowl but just give it to them from this little packaging. Pixie's ready. So. Pixie. She's already here. Maybe not on here. Let her Look, get she's down. excited. She's excited. Come, Pixie. Bloopy! Pixie, bloopy! <laughs> Bloop is just running out of his tunnel. Have a bite. Bloop is just gonna steal the whole thing. No, right he's here. gonna bite a piece off it. They not sure. Oh my god. Look, it rips him to pieces. It's quite tender, actually. Pixie. She's more interested in the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> or in my fingers, because I just touched it. Okay, good thing we didn't open both of them. Yeah. So they like, packed individually. I think they, they will grow on it. But they might just take some It's bite. very new. I don't think they have ever had duck. And obviously, even for humans, duck has um, a very specific Oh, there we go. Blue try just taste. try to take it. Oh, <laughs> Pixie likes dragging things out of the bowl, so that's normal. As for the rest of our shopping, you can see our Alpro yogurts. They have quite a long um, shelf life, so I bought five of these. We love the um, the protein Greek style ones because they're great for cooking and like pancakes and everything like that, and also for breakfast. And also protein. They and have also protein. protein. <laughs> And just some supplementary shopping to our normal weekly shop. And this is the meat that I got. So I got some chicken thigh fillets. They look really good. So we've got two packs, one kilogram each. And then we have chicken liver. So Morrison's is good for those things because you can get chicken hearts, you can get pig's hearts. Um, and the same goes for liver and it's very inexpensive you can see it was just a pound thirty so very good value and that will probably be enough for like one bigger batch so we'll get some pork probably from Audi a little bit later and Pixie is ready to lick some plastic of course she's a plastic queen come investigating in progress how do you like the new yoga wheel, guys? Very interesting. Look, it goes well with Mr. Carrot. Oh. And that's the style of lunch. Oh, what a shame. So the battery just died, and right when we were changing the battery, Pixie was actually inside of the wheel. And you could only see the fluff because all of her pauses, her tail and her head was inside. <laughs> now this is time for our lunch. Um, so we're going to have some jackfruit wraps that we made last night. And a lime water served in this fancy <laughs> glass. Because why not? <laughs> Matt just likes serving drinks in those fancy cocktail glasses. So if it's an iced coffee or water in this <laughs> case, <laughs> tastes so much better, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. So good. <laughs> so these are completely vegan. Uh, we have jackfruit, which we fried with peppers, some spices, um, onion and garlic. We also have jalapeno peppers, a little bit of sweet corn. Uh, we added some um, iceberg lettuce. And then we've got rice with uh, refried beans. And obviously some salsa and sriracha inside. And that just make them quick rice. To um, go on the side. And I made some spicy mayo. And spicy mayo. Which, that is not vegan. But it's good. It's not vegan, but it's so good. You just have to have it. So, we're going to watch one episode of the Jeffrey Epstein Filthy Rich. 
Uh, we started that yesterday and it is great. So we've watched two, is it the second one? I this think is this the second is one. the second episode. We're just ending this one and then we'll watch episode three while we eat and while we just chill out after lunch. Um, if you don't know the story, definitely watch it. It is very sad, very annoying and it has been quite a popular story recently so I'm really happy that Netflix made a series about it because people should know about this, people should know what's going on in the world. So we ate our lunch, had a little bit of a chilled out hour or so when Matt fell asleep on for his uh, midday nap and I just had a quick chat with my friend, like a socially distanced chat uh, before she moves away quite far from here um, because of the consequences of lockdown really, which is quite sad. Uh, so we won't see her for quite some time. And now we need to get back to our normal routine. And probably uh, Matt will be doing the oven now, so he'll... <laughs> what? Okay, so we had a lunch, we chilled for a little bit, uh, watched a little bit of that series on Netflix. It is seriously really, really good. Um, Matt fell asleep for <laughs> his midday nap, um, <laughs> because why not? Uh, and I just had a little goodbye social distance chat with my friend who is moving away, sadly. Um, but now we just need to get back to our chores and Matt needs to clean the oven today. So that will be <laughs> that quite a big task. It was planned. Yeah, you literally just said it. <laughs> um, we have cleaned like everything in the house during lockdown like deep cleaned oven. apart from the oven and a couple of um like diy craft boxes under the bed so that's going to be my thing to do today also almost forgot uh, we have a quiz tonight with my work friends and we are hosting tonight so uh, we started making the questions we need a few more rounds we'll have to take care of this soon as well so it looks like it's going to be a very busy day today okay so these are my craft boxes they're quite messy inside so I just need to go through all of this uh, stuff here get rid of what I don't need anymore and make a little bit of a like an organization um, in here and then I also have another box here this is a smaller box it just has a few things in there that need to be sorted so that's from when I was tidying up in the wardrobe and different places in the bedroom that just needs to be sorted into different boxes basically <laughs> Okay, so I'm done with the oven. It's looking pretty clean and uh, it's passed inspection by Mon. She is back in the kitchen, snacking away. What? No. <laughs> She's snacking on some I lotus. I opened lotus spread. That's to be naughty. fair, I'm not even hungry. Not at all. But I've just like, I've wanted to open it for a few days now. You can see it hasn't been <laughs> touched yet. Okay, I guess. Um, or to have one as well, since she's oh, having are one. You? <laughs> <laughs> Matt has finished the oven, it's sparkling clean, uh, finally. I still haven't finished my boxes, but we took a little break from that to make a toy. We have this one, which um, has something else at the end, but we replaced it with a little mousy uh, one. Whatever was at the end was completely eaten. <laughs> <laughs> By this guy, probably. <laughs> so we will reuse this same stick. So just need to untie that. 
and we are going to attempt to make this, the toy similar to the one that we saw in Pets at Home. Definitely for less than six pounds because... <laughs> We're going to upcycle everything that we found in the house. Yeah, literally. We also have this rope and um, that you may have seen this in our previous DIY video about making a hammock. It's exactly the same one. So we're going to use this too. So I have cut out the cardboard into loads of um, little uh, square pieces, more, more or less square, like I wasn't really paying much attention to them being absolutely perfect because I think it will make it even better if they not too perfect and too similar. Um, Bluebell was just uh, playing with everything he could find on the table and Matt put the rope attached it to the stick. So now what we're going to have to do is make holes for each one of these little pieces and then thread them through the rope. I found this needle is the biggest one that we have. Um, if I can thread this through here, then that will make it very easy. Uh, but Matt has another idea. He's got his drill out. Any opportunity, guys. <laughs> so Matt has this thing for the drills. Um, <laughs> Whenever he can use it, he just does. The plan is to thread the uh, rope for this and then that way this is going to hold all of the cardboard pieces in place. Okay, I think that might be easier to drill through Done. those actually. Done. <laughs> little break because Bluebee <laughs> wants his lunch. Bluebee, you hungry? Yeah. Oh, yes. Alright, there you go. He's so soft after brushing. So yes. soft. The duck treat is still in the bowl. They, they're so not particularly enjoying it. <laughs> they're not like huge fans of it. Oh my god, you can see Bluebee's pantaloons. So fluffy. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Okay, so we have just finished this. So we've read through all of the pieces. Uh, that's the rope. It's quite heavy. And then we finished it off with two pieces of cork at the top and at the bottom. I just made a few knots at the very bottom and we just need to cut off the end. And then we'll see if the kitties wants to play with it. That was way cheaper than six pounds. And took like 15 minutes. Yeah. So I've got that and then we'll just make another one here as well. So I'm thinking well That actually looks pretty cool. I it actually looks like it. really cool. It behaves like a bit a like a snake. Yeah, that's true. Mm. You might like it. I don't want to And it makes a noise. Eating. It's yeah. like a rattle noise. Yeah, I don't want to distract him from eating. I'll let him finish and then we'll play. And then we'll play. We'll make another toy as well. So we'll take one of the corks, um, drill through it. And then we'll put some of the rope around it and then thread the feathers in the rope somehow, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what comes out of it. I told you we needed a drill. <laughs> it was a good idea. And look at this cute drilling table. <laughs> it's got a hole in the middle, so it's perfect. So this is the third time today that we're using our Dyson and honestly this Hoover is the best investment ever so I was apprehensive because it was super expensive but, but uh, so I worth it so we hoovered in the morning because we we hoover every single morning now uh, with the cats shedding so much it's necessary <laughs> yeah and then we hoover the cats and now we're hoovering this so getting a lot of views out of this little thing I still don't see it, but if you see it, that's fine. <laughs> we'll be putting the feathers on this side, so like this. Okay. Under yeah. the rope. Should I put the feathers in first? You think? Just, just go stick for it. Stick them in first, or yeah. just stick them in at the end? Yes. <laughs> that is very helpful, thank <laughs> you very much. Okay. Okay, 
after all, Pixie is eating that duck treat. Um, even though there is just a normal food in the other bowl. So maybe she just wasn't hungry at all. I wouldn't call it a treat though. It's definitely not a treat. Um, yeah, she doesn't eat it like a treat. She just eats it like food. Yeah, she eats it like food, <laughs> not a treat. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, these are the toys that we came up with. So this is... Um, how do we call this? Mm. Mm. <laughs> the cork. Teaser. <laughs> the cork teaser. I like the cork teaser. Okay, so the idea is uh, you uh, throw it and then obviously you unroll the, the rope and then you pull it towards you. So the cats follow it like a prey. Um, I'm so we left it on yeah. that whole rope yeah. so that it can be really, really long. Yeah, the idea was to put it to the stick, but uh, it actually got, I think it's going to work like this. And then the second one, the one we showed you earlier, uh, it's the the paper snake. <laughs> I think that, yeah, I think that's the closest description. So um, we're going to test them now, actually, as soon as Pixie's finished with food. Because again, I don't like to distract them when they're eating. Um, I think Bluey's on the balcony, so we're gonna start with him. I think he's liking it. Okay, I'm gonna make it longer and I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> this works so well. Oh my god. That was I so good. I love this. One more. <laughs> 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 oh no, it went in the shoe. Oh, He's works. ready for another throw. That Look at this. So well. He just loves when you throw things to him. <laughs> Yay! So fun. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, yes, Big C. She always strikes from like. Yeah, you don't even know where she is, and then she strikes. <laughs> yes, Bluey says that the verdict is this one is great, passed all of the tests, it's super fun, super easy to make and we'll definitely use this every single day. Yeah. That's what he says. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Pixie enjoyed it too. And then it's time to take the second one and test this one I think. Which I think the best place to test it would be on the bed, but right by the bed I've got all that mess. So we're gonna test it here on the carpet. Yeah. Well, on the rug. But let's Look see their first reaction. Look at him. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> he looks a bit scared of it. Oh no, she's attacking. God, this scratching pose. <laughs> yes. I think it would, if we made it a little bit shorter, it would have been better. Because you think this, so? Yeah, this stick is quite bendy, so I'm, uh, I'm having a little bit of an issue like navigating properly. So mm -hmm. like especially like around the cat tree or something, because this is bending so much. Uh, but if we had like a, like a wooden stick or something that's uh, you know less bendy, better. that would be fantastic. It looks like they like this one as well. So cool, and definitely not six pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he's doing a bit of a ninja. She likes to play on the rug. <laughs> I can see that he's already tired, but he's yeah. really tired. <laughs> okay, I think they are both pretty tired now. <laughs> yeah, they're done with playing. Exhausted the energy tanks.
So that was definitely a good a good idea to make that this at home. That is so good. And the other one, uh, especially, because it's different than all the other toys that you can buy in a shop. Uh, yeah. I think we just came up with this idea accidentally uh, when we attached it and we were like, hey, what if Let's we just don't cut it? it? <laughs> yeah. So uh, try it out, guys, because it works super well with our cuts. Okay, so now I need to go and finish off my craft box mess. Um, and as we mentioned before, we have a question night as well. But we also have another video to record today as well. And it's going to be very, very exciting. Very exciting. So make sure to turn on your notification bells because when it comes out, you won't want to miss it. Trust me. You definitely want to know about this as soon as it comes out. So make sure to be notified because it will be um, one of their bonus videos. So it won't come out on Saturday. It will come out during the week. Hey Bluey, I am almost done. I pretty much just need to put these um, in this box in some sort of order. This one is done completely um, and we'll be finished with all our deep cleaning of the house. Yes Bluey? <laughs> Matt is just finishing off the quiz questions so I was trying to help out while I was organising these. And um, so we'll have a quiz ready. I have some good ones. I've got a good, good one. True or false? An emu can fly. They can. And I thought it could. We finished recording our video, so definitely look out for it. It will be out sometime next week. We're not going to tell you when it's coming out exactly, so you need to make sure to smash that notification bell button. That's all we prepared for you today, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed today's content. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.